So if you have the assistive touch button enabled on your iPhone, I'll be showing you how you can change these functions or basically how to customize the assistive touch button so you can put in the functions you want right in this main menu. Now for this tutorial, I'm using the iPhone 14 Pro, but it's the same instructions for previous iPhones running at least iOS 16. So go to settings. On the main settings page, go down to accessibility. And then under accessibility, go to touch. And then go to assistive touch at the top there. And then since you already have assistive, assistive touch enabled, then you have the option here to customize the top level menu. So if you tap on that, you can actually see what the menu looks like. And that's what it looks like on the uh, assistive touch button. Now, first thing you can do is increase or reduce the number of options or icons. The default is six, but if you want to, you can reduce that to five or even four. And that's what it's going to look like. And you can even see a live preview on the assistive touch button, okay? Or if you want more, you can increase up to eight like that, okay? But since you've not set up the eight, then that's why it looks like uh, it's just four. So if you want to increase and add functions, let's say you want to add a function here, just tap on that. And then let's say maybe you want to add the camera function there. You can tap on done. And now that is a camera. And if when you go to the assistive touch button, you should see the camera option has been added. So you can go ahead and customize all these buttons. And if you want to reset back to default, simply tap on reset. Okay. And there are plenty of options here. Again, if you want to do something like uh, maybe change one of the options, let's say you want to change this option to something like, uh, let's see something like screenshot or rotate screen, just tap on it and then tap on done. And then now that function is now a screenshot function, which you can use to take screenshots. So that's basically how to customize the assistive touch button on your iPhone. At least as far as the top level menu or the main menu of the assistive touch button is concerned. Of course, there are also other things you can change. So make sure you stay subscribed and stay tuned to this channel because I'll be making subsequent videos on how to use the assistive touch button. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.